Good day. I'm Steve Casey, Executive Director of the Florida Sheriff's Association. It is indeed my privilege to welcome you to the Florida Sheriff's Association headquarters and the Florida Sheriff's Law Enforcement Memorial Ceremony. Our memorial was established by the sheriffs as a place we could come to honor those who made the ultimate sacrifice. The impressive monument in front of you has been placed in a beautifully landscaped memorial garden where 100-year-old live oak trees draped with Spanish moths and covered with resurrection ferns. This picturesque scene honors our heroes. This monument is both classic and timeless and has become an important part of our culture and our legacy to future generations. This is truly sacred ground for the sheriffs of Florida and their deputies and the families and friends of our fallen officers. Throughout the year, family, friends, and co-workers of these officers appear to pay their respects, and it is our honor to support them and this monument. Each year we hold this memorial service where we add the names of the officers who've died in the line of duty, and we invite their families to attend. This year, due to the pandemic, we decided to honor the memory of our fallen officers via a virtual service. We look forward to a time in the near future when we will be with the families, friends, co-workers to honor these officers in person. We are truly grateful that you could be with us today. I know that you will appreciate the sentiment of love, honor, and tribute that is reflected in the ceremony that is about to occur. While our hearts have been broken, we do find a degree of comfort in honoring the lives of our heroes, and we pray that you will find that comfort as well. Before I turn the program over to our Master of Ceremonies, I want to thank all the sheriffs and their staff which assisted in the development of this first ever virtual memorial service. I also want to thank our featured speakers, presenters, and performers. And most of all, I want to recognize the family of the 12 fallen officers which are being honored here today. You will forever be in our hearts and our prayers. Finally, in closing, I want to say thanks to our sponsors, the Florida Sheriff Risk Management Fund and the Florida Sheriff Employee Benefit Trust for their continued support. At this time, it is my pleasure to introduce the FSA President, Sheriff Bobby Schultz from Gilchrist County who will be our Master of Ceremonies. As he makes his way to the podium, I will tell you Sheriff Schultz is a highly respected leader in our state who has risen to the many challenges presented during his term as president. And in each case, he has set a course for our mutual success. As a sheriff who has personally experienced the tragic loss of deputies in the line of duty, he knows firsthand the personal sacrifice that the families of the fallen officers have made and is committed to assisting these families in every way in the future. It has been my honor to work with him over the years to advance the programs and services provided by this great association for its members. Sheriff Schultz, thank you for your leadership, advice, and counsel, and for being with us today. It's an honor to be here with you today, and at this time, we'd like to ask Florida Sheriff Association Human Resource Manager and a chaplain of the Leon County Sheriff's Office, Tanisha Williams, to give us our invocation. Please join me for a moment of prayer. Our precious Father, we open this ceremony today giving you reverence, for you are worthy of all honor, glory, and praise. I thank you for your love, your favor, and for the many blessings you grant us each day. Lord, we pray for our loved ones and friends that are with us, and we pray a special prayer for the families of our fallen law enforcement heroes whom we honor today. We pray that this service brings comfort and a peace that surpasses all understanding, a peace that will guard their hearts and mend their minds for your namesake. As we reflect on the dedication and service provided by these brave men and women, help us to find joy in the memories that remain forever. Because earth has no sorrow that heaven cannot heal, I ask that you mend broken hearts and restore happiness within us. I thank you on today, and I pray this prayer by faith. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.
Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched or so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the Again, it is an honor and a privilege to be here today, to be able to honor the sacrifice that these men and women gave for us here in the state of Florida. This has been a tough year. The sheriff's offices throughout the state have had to deal with many traumatic events to include COVID-19. But here at the Florida Sheriff's Association, we feel it is imperative that we never forget those who gave their lives in the line of duty for all of us. In 2018, the Gilchrist County Sheriff's Office found itself in a situation where we lost two deputies in the line of duty. So we do understand the sacrifice that the, the agencies, the offices, and individuals face when you lose a hero. And let's make no mistake, these men and women are true heroes. They pinned on the star, they strapped on the gun, and they were willing, and in these cases, gave the ultimate sacrifice. We can't say thank you enough. Those two words are nowhere near enough to thank the families of these heroes who are left behind and those heroes that are, are gone up and, and patrolling the streets of gold in heaven. And that's exactly where they are. We are very appreciative of their sacrifice. We're appreciative of the families here who's without their loved ones right now but it has been my solemn vow and the other sheriffs of the Florida Sheriff Association throughout the state of Florida to make sure that they're always honored, they're always remembered, and they're always given the proper respect that they deserve. You know, I sometimes get asked, why is it so important that we honor deputies who gave their lives every year? And it's not that their lives are better than anyone else who loses their lives, but what they symbolize is someone standing in the gap between good and evil. And that's why it's important that we remember them, the sacrifices that they gave that they didn't have to do. It's a calling that they received. They answered that call. They were willing to give their all. And in the cases why we're here today, they did give their all. So for as long as all the sheriffs before me with me and after me, as long as we have a breath in our bodies and blood coursing through our veins, we are going to remember those heroes and their sacrifices, and they will never, ever be forgotten. Hello, I'm Attorney General Ashley Moody, joining you virtually today in the midst of a disturbing trend. Violent attacks on law enforcement officers are surging and heartbreakingly Florida is the deadliest state for felonious attacks on officers so far this year. As the wife of a law enforcement officer, these disturbing statistics both sadden and infuriate me. And we must work together to put a stop to the attacks now. During this time, we should all be joining together, showing unwavering respect and support for the men and women who wear the badge. But instead, there are people recklessly and violently targeting our heroes. As the COVID-19 pandemic spread throughout our country and millions sheltered at home, 
you remained on the front lines without hesitation. And when our nation was plagued by civil unrest and the call to defund the police rose to the mainstream, you remained steadfast in your commitment to serve, protect and defend, even for those who wish to do you harm. The level of sacrifice to put oneself in danger for the greater good is a debt we will never be able to repay. But at the very least, we should do everything we can to show our gratitude. Gratitude that we are fortunate enough to have men and women like you, willing to put service over self, assisting others in the face of danger, and helping people when they may be at their most vulnerable. People like you, willing to pay the ultimate sacrifice to fight crime and uphold order in the communities we love. Many things have changed over time in our state, even in our country. But one thing that has remained constant is the dedicated service of our sheriffs, their deputies, dispatchers, and other support staff. This year, we celebrate 200 years of Florida sheriffs, two centuries of sheriffs stepping up to protect and defend our communities. And while technologies and the scope of service have certainly changed, your resolve to fight crime and uphold or order has not faltered. You have chosen a life dedicated to others. And you don't do it for recognition, honor, or a big payday. You serve because you love your community, your state, and the citizens that live here. You serve despite the daily uncertainty and danger you face. This year, far too many have already faced that danger, making the ultimate sacrifice to keep criminals from harming law-abiding citizens. For the families and colleagues of fallen officers, the pain of your loss is still fresh and we continue to mourn with you. As your Attorney General, I vow to never stop in my pursuit of protecting, supporting, and honoring the men and women willing to wear the badge, those that took the solemn oath to serve and protect. And I will remain steadfast in my commitment to you and this vital mission we have of making Florida stronger and safer. I'll continue to speak out against those who seek to harm our officers. Now more than ever, we must come together to lift up our officers and show our unwavering support, not only to those that wear the badge, but also to the families that support them, who feel the sting and loss more than anyone when their hero never returns home. We owe our safety, security, and way of life to each of you and to those that support you and share in your service. Thank you for your selfless acts of service to Florida. And on behalf of our state and all of the citizens that you have sworn to protect, we remain with you and will always have your back. You are all real life heroes and we remain eternally grateful that you chose this noble, incredibly important profession. And we will always honor those brave individuals who stood firm on that thin blue line, ensuring peace, stability, and safety in our great state. God bless. At this time, I have the honor and the privilege to read to you the 12 deputies who gave their lives in 2019, 2020. This being a virtual ceremony, obviously the families aren't here with us today, and we look forward to being able to honor these deputies at a later date to be determined. Lieutenant Aldemar Rengifo, Broward County Sheriff's Office, end of watch, August 16th, 2020. Every now and then, Deputy Charles Pugh, Santa Rosa County Sheriff's Office, end of watch, August 17th, 2020. Deputy Maurice Ford, Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office, end of watch, August 29th, 2020. Deputy Angela Chavers, Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office, end of watch, September 12th, 2020. Sergeant Eric Twisdale, Clay County Sheriff's Office, 
end of watch, September 16th, 2020. Sergeant James LaRue, Seminole County Sheriff's Office, end of watch, November 20th, 2020. Deputy Benjamin Nimitz, Broward County Sheriff's Office. End of watch, July 21st, 2019. Deputy Shannon Bennett, Broward County Sheriff's Office. End of watch, April 3rd, 2020. For the people who Sergeant Jose Diaz Ayala, Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office, end of watch, April 4th, 2020. Master Deputy Lynn Jones, Lake County Sheriff's Office, end of watch, June 25th, 2020. There are more than angels watching Master Detention me. Deputy Richard Berry, Lake County Sheriff's Office, oh, end of watch, July 16th, 2020. Lieutenant Chris Cunningham, Jacksonville Sheriff's Office, end of watch, August 5th, 2020. I feel you coming back again. And I believe Please join me for our benediction. Once again, Father, we come honoring your name for you are a great God. Lord, I thank you for all that has transpired in this service. Thank you for the time of reflection and sharing that you have given us on today. God, I ask that you be with us all as we go our separate ways. Continue to strengthen us to face each day with courage and confidence and help us to succeed in the purposes of our lives. Bless the men and women who continue to serve in law enforcement, our sheriff's offices, and our leading sheriffs. And let us always be grateful for the sacrifices that have been made to protect our communities and to preserve our nation. In your name we pray, amen. This concludes our 2021 virtual memorial ceremony. And we would like to thank each and every person who participated in this service. And as we go forward, I would encourage each of you to keep the families of these fallen heroes in your prayers. Thank you and God bless you.